Hey guys, Retriever here. Um, we just got back from the 20th year of the Great State Comic Con. Um, and we saw some of the founders there, and I'm gonna shift it on the Gaming Jackal. Yeah, hey guys. Yeah, we just did come from the Great State Comic Con. It was their 20th year anniversary. It was their first three day event. We were there on the 18th, which is their Sunday. Slash the last day. Yep. So, we saw some of the founders of KidsCon there. So, shout outs to them. We all, you know, So, yeah, there's the Retriever, Gaming, Jackalope, and Panda here. Hey, what's up? So we're just, you know, doing a podcast kind of th sort of thing. So the event was pretty large all day. There was mostly people coming in, like, all day. There's people flown in and out. There was all different costumes. There was some <laughs> decent costumes there. Yeah, there really was. Yeah, they had this one, Man the pink Mandalorian. So it was like a fan-made Mandalorian costume. And it was very cool because it had like a tutu on and had this pink mask and it was just very well done for if they made it themselves or they bought it online. Either one, it looked very cool. They had a Mandalorian there as well. Yeah, we're, we're doing this because we were testing out um, EV, which I'm calling EVzilla because it's ginormous. We were testing it out to see how long like the battery would last. Yeah, and we were in there for at least two seconds. No joke. We were in. The, we we had inflated, so we're coming out, and there's this gate, and everybody's screaming about Evie, and they're just running out that door to see him. I mean, of course. I mean, because this thing's huge. Villa. This thing is 18, 16. Keep keep going. Bado 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 do. My singing is so good. That was the first time I've ever used this, so it's uh, very, um, it's never happened before, so. There's Emily. Huh? I'm recording. You wanted me to. Do you hear that guy just said? No. This is the best part of this weekend. <laughs> that looks so weird. Or Tails Dragon. Okay. Wait, you might not want to. feet tall from foot to the bottom of the feet from to all the way to the ears yeah I was dressed up as the trainer of Evie since why not so yeah we were just kind of sticking out we've heard far at like 20 minutes it died so you can't go too far with it we did pretty decent there was, again, there, was another there. there was another we almost got kicked out all the same there was a part where we're going to the vendor area, and all these vendors, if any of them were really insane, we would have got kicked out. Because like how big EV is, they had this, yeah, they had a giant EV, and then there's like little, little aisles of going through these, like these, you know, stores and shops, which are very close together. Which yeah. is, you know, very hazardous. 
that we see before. It's like a tornado. Or like a wall pushing you. <laughs> There's no going around it. It's very fluffy, you know. Really. It's so fluffy! The tail is one of the best parts. So, we went up. So you'll be able, oh, by the way, you'll be able to see Evie at KidsCon up in Portland, Maine, October. So, one thing we did up there, this is funny. So we went up to another area in the con, and the armory, and I think it was that, that was the name. And we went up there, and they had this one spot like, with like, all these Star Wars characters, and they had IG-11 from Star Wars. It was very cool. It wasn't a costume, but it was this little robot stand, and you can stand next to it and take a picture. They had that robot from Rogue One. They had two RC cars. So if you've ever gone to Disney World, there's a at I think it was Hollywood Studios. I think it was. Can't, yeah, it was one of those. Ones. Yeah, I think it was. And it had the droids when you make them. They had these like little ones, like the you know size of your like. Size. But these ones are like the size of kids. Yeah, like a six or five year old. Like, se no, really. Like no, like, like seven, seven year old. Seven. Yeah, seven year old is like how big this thing was. Well, this really seven. Hi, baby. <laughs> they look like bigger. They look like the bigger version of ours. Battlebots. Battlebots. Yes, battlebots. One of them has like a Zabratron thing in his chest. You know, there's, these things are huge, and they were being controlled, but there was a, I think there was R2-D2 and some other one, just, you know, life-size, you know, they were like... Yeah, it screamed in my ear when I was taking a picture next to it. It hurt yeah. my ears a lot. Yep. They had a magic show there, where the gaming uh, retriever and gaming bunny went. Yeah. And they were just watching that. Me and Panda, we went down to the you know, vendors and all that, and all the vendors and shopping, I we went down there, and they, we were just, like, fungal pop hunting, because we're really into that, and I got a Wally and Eve 2 set, and a, a du Dooku? That was the game bunny I gave her, uh, was it, a, you know, Dooku. my hair, my hair, academia, Yeah, I think it was that Uh, and then we saw... Yep. Oh, you gonna try playing Smash later, Travis? I'm looking for it, it's gone. They're like, oh, we well, probably have another one, but it's like $100. I'm like, yeah. really? I am paying for an Iron Man with the Infinity Stones for $100. Say, say thank you. Yeah, and there, uh, for what I got was my. Uh, oh, so but before that, for the mag Magic. Yeah, well, that's what they were doing while they were shopping. Me and the gaming bunny, when we were at the magic show, the guy was really funny. He was dressed up as Newt from, I forgot what the movie movie's called. The Fantastic Beast, I think it was. And it, he was really funny. He told me. He had a few people go up on the stage, not me. He didn't call me up, apparently. I didn't call up other kids at the moment. He was really funny. Um, so, some things he, um, up there were actually really cool that he showed us. Like, one of them was, um, uh, what was one of them? One of us, well, on. Uh, one of us, um, he was calling people up, and then after he was trying to, like, catch, uh, I forgot, I don't remember what it was called, but he was trying to catch something, and he was, like, going around and, and we couldn't see it. 
but that's when he went oh he apparently he caught something and when he put it in the box apparently it was like a creature that I pulled out I don't I don't remember exactly what he called everything but it was but he did record he was recording like those are camera recording me it, we I definitely laughed a few times from that I mean it was really funny me and the gaming bunny, we were walking around, around there, and I saw this really fluffy Eevee that I really wanted to get it, so I got it. And it was in, it was from Awesome. That's the place that I got it. That, that was. I love that place, so you should check it out. Link below. Yeah, it was really, it's really fluffy. Yeah, there's a lot of plushies there. And the only reason I didn't have, uh, the only reason why I got it was because it was actually the last one out of all of them that were there. So she was very happy. Yeah, I was very, very happy. Okay, uh, back to, uh, to me now, uh, we were, why well, Kevin, going on why, and, uh, was playing Smash Bros. Yeah, while that was going on, we were shopping, and then after we went to play Smash Bros, I was playing with this one guy. From esports and like he killed me horribly. It's what Kevin would say. I say I would have said I beat him easily. That's what I would have said. Bro, really didn't. That, yeah. I wouldn't win though. Yeah, but I'm the pro. So. So while he was doing that, I went back to the magic show. Yeah. And I set the roll behind Panda and uh, a Panda um, Retriever. And, okay, buddy. Buddy. and I was like tickled on the back of their neck until they they uh, they figured it out. They were looking at it right beside them and they thought it was like the game in Hurricane. But no, they looked behind me and there I was at themselves. Yeah, there Kevin told me to keep quiet so I could scare Caitlyn. He did. And that's when after the magic show was over, there was one more, but I we did the costume show. Awesome. Con con it was a contest. Usually I do it with Gaming Panda, but that time he kind of wasn't really dressed up. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I was just watching that time. Yeah. So I went up there. I did, and I was as a Pokemon trainer, which I did have a Pokeball with my Eevee plushie. I told you about. I was back there. There, I didn't win, but everyone was gonna get something. But three people would get something different. What happened? So we when we came with it. In this room, the room. And they brought him to his like back room. And he told him, like, well, that will happen. We have no idea where they are. So, what happened back there was basically there were a whole bunch of people in the line. And unless if you were in like a group, like a family group, would, then um, you would go up onto the stage. And then you would. So, back there, we were in a line. And then he would tell us when we have to go up. And he would. And I was kind of nervous. And again. Uh, again, Gaming Panda wasn't with me. And uh, I'm usually there. Yeah, th this year I think he's going as Miles. Or, th no, um, uh, I'm going as Carnage next time. Yeah, so back so back there was basically empty room. We were just waiting. I remember a few of the people who won. I'm pretty sure it was Starfire for third place. <laughs> no, it was Boo. Rest. Boo, no, no, they started from third place to first place. Oh, yeah. Boo was second place because, I mean, she was real, that costume was really cool. And then the first place was Zero. A custom? Uh, Zero? It was yeah. really cool. Uh, yeah. Mouth open, and I don't even know, know if she could see. No, she could, could from the mouth, like, she would no, open the mouth. All you could see from the mouth was her mouth. Was and then, awesome. yeah, and then after, before we all got, like, the same prizes, which was a bag of com a few comics, uh, we all took a group picture, which I'm the one who's holding up a Pokeball. So after the contest, they went to go play these board games. And me and the gaming buddy, we went to go put Yoshi on. Um, so, the first game that we played was Tower It's a card game, and it was a card game. It was about, like, you had to, 
add up like your points and attacks and defense on defeating the bad guys that were in the tower. Which they were like, yeah. they were like the bad guys and all. Yeah, and apparently out of barely any people without dying, me and Chaz were the only uh, two. Without dying like once in that game. We were apparently the only two. Yeah, we played it once. Uh, we played it one, one time so we could go explore again. And the second and game that we played, I don't ex exactly remember the name. Uh, I'll remember it when it comes, but it was about this. It was... Where's, where's Luna? It was about this girl who was trapped in the underworld and you needed to find uh, three Lunas in the deck. Uh, deck and then you would be on her team and if you found and if you didn't capture her with all three then you would be then the lunas would win but the rest of the card hold on hold on you meant you meant uh didn't mention one thing uh the, ga the game's called nysteria oh the and screen. you forgot about the uh, skeletons if the skeletons find all the lunas she's stuck on and then the skeletons win. But if you don't find all the Lunas, then Luna wins. And you have to try and kind of like lie to try and help Luna escape. Or you can be on Team Skeleton and actually tell what's happening. It's kind of like Among Us. But different. So me and the Game and Bunny, we definitely did some stuff. I try going in Yoshi. Usually I go. I would say something about this word. He goes, I think. I think. It looks really good. Yeah, like it the was head. Really was it like the head that you Like it was all like scrunched up down there. Like, it, it looks bad without the head on. It, it's fine without the head on, but just like the way all the stomach was like in my knees. What, was it like the head? That you, that you couldn't really fit on? No, it was, the, the head was fine. The problem was, I couldn't get my, like, up. Like, it's like having a pillow, or like a blanket, and shrinking it down all the way, crawling it up. It shrinks, right? That was how my legs basically were in my stomach. And it's just, it did not look good. It looked worse than Dad getting in. So. Yeah, uh, yeah, it looks funny because when he's getting in, it's like, uh, his arms down, it looks like he's a turkey, and I'm like, well, we're having, well, it's gonna be cheap this year. So, the difference between Eevee and Yoshi was how about the attendance. Like soft and like squishy, so it's smaller because you know it's like um, it's like a suit. And they're like, I mean, the Yoshi, the same thing happens, but he's smaller, so you can't really know. You don't even be in the same room, and everyone's flocking to you. They won't even see you. You'll be outside, and everyone will be flocking outside just to get, just because it's so big, you won't see it from like the third floor building. Just like the ears tipping over. It was like twice the size of Yoshi. Oh, yes, we saw Travis. We saw this dad bod. Yeah, I saw uh, this. Uh, I saw the uh, cat. Oh, Thor. And with Stonebreaker, it was like a purplish in the middle and bluish in like the sides. The pros were pretty good. They had more stuff there. They had some cool celebrities there. They had a um, voice actor for Charlie Brown and Lucy that were there. Those guys were, we didn't like see them, but they were there and that was pretty cool. And a little bit later we went in the shop, the like store area. And they had, at one point they had... What's it? What was it? They had one guy, and he was like, he had his hands up in the air, like he had no idea what was going on. Like, why is this giant Eevee coming down the hallways? Maybe you know, maybe he was like knocking things over a little bit, but he wasn't knocking things over at a descent. It was just because there was a lot of people on the way. 
And he was doing pretty well, but there's a few things I got knocked over, and it was only because you can't see. But in this big area, there was nobody doing anything. There's one staff guy. He like, had his hands were in the air, and he had, like, he looked like he was like, what the heck is this guy in the giant EV doing here? I'm like, very weird, because, he, you know, he's seeing costumes like this all the time. Not as big, maybe, but... Very, he looked like he was just really mad that Evie was coming in and he was doing the spotlight with that. Like, very odd. So, thanks you guys for watching. Next KitchCon, you know this, it's in October the 15th up in Portland, Maine. They'll, their link will be down in the description. And I think that's... Our website will be down there as well. Yeah. Just, oh, shop is now up. We just finished that a few days ago. And shop's up, so you can buy merchandise off that. It was... Yeah, help export uh, support us to keep doing this stuff. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching please like subscribe hit the notification bell and tell all your friends about this share yeah share it to all your friends and uh definitely hit that subscribe and if button. you see us at comic con definitely say hi yeah, and we'll see you next time bye, bye.